This is the best one play touchdown formula in all of Madden 22. What's good guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you enjoy the video, hit that like button, it helps me out a ton. We upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, we're talking about the best bomb in Madden 22. Now, for those of you that don't know, I just released a new ebook out of the Trio Y Flex Formation. This formation can be found in the Giants playbook. I think this is the best offense in the entire game for a number of reasons. And if you want to learn the entire Trio Y Flex uh, game plan, I'm going to put a link to that guide in the description. I also want to let you know that if you want to get access, instant access to every ebook that I've released uh, over the course of the Madden 22 season and every uh, ebook that I will release while your subscription is active, be sure to join the Patreon. The Patreon is just $10 a month, and like I said, it gets you instant access to every single piece of material that I've created ebook wise. We've got 13 ebooks over there right now, and we've got a ton more on the way. So just by joining today, you're going to get instant access to 13 ebooks. And you'll get access to any of those uh, new ones that will be released while your subscription is active. So that being said, guys, we're talking about the play PA crossers out of the Trio Y Flex. I think this is the best passing play in Madden 22. It's the most versatile passing play in Madden 22. And we're going to show you how you can use this concept or this route concepts uh, to be able to get a one play touchdown against literally any defensive coverage in the entire game. All right, guys, so we're going to first show you how to bomb uh, cover two out of this it's actually really simple okay one of the things that you want to make sure that you do though is you want to make sure that you run this with your with your trips or your three wide receivers to the wide side of the field so if you're on the left hash i would just flip the play and you're going to be on the wide side of the field if you're on the right hash this is the best possible place uh, to be able to run this concept so as you can see here this is cover two coverage and we're just going to simply go ahead and streak the triangle receiver we're going to slant the uh, slot on the left side, and we're gonna post the tight end on this side. As you can see right here, here's your route combination. At the snap of the ball, you obviously have a couple quick reads. You can hit your slant, you can hit your post. I got instant shed and I didn't blitz anybody. That's how bad this practice mode is. So let me show it to you one more time. And I'll pass commit to make sure hopefully that doesn't happen. But again, the same route combination. So you have your quick reads underneath. So you can hit either your, either of your quick reads. But if you wait on it, you're going to see here that the square receiver is going to get over the top of the cover two for a one play score. Now, the other thing that I want to touch on here is that was cover two, just kind of your basic Tampa two. But this is actually going to get over the top of, um, you know, if they do any zone drops, if they do any 30 yard clouds, it's going to go over the top of that. It's also going to get over the top of it if they put their middle linebacker in a third. So as you can see there, I put my middle linebacker in a deep middle third. This is one of the ways that most people like to kind of bomb proof their Tampa 2. And what you're going to see here is it's going to do anything but that. I'm just going to pass lead that to the right. And as you can see, as long as I got a fast receiver, maybe break a tackle, I could get in there for a one play touchdown. Obviously, Mike Evans is not a very fast receiver. So if you can do it with him, you can do it with anybody. Now I want to move on to everyone's favorite defense in Madden 22, the Mike Blitz 3. The Mike Blitz 3 is the most, most called uh, defensive play in the game. And we're going to show you how we can bomb it over the top for a one-play score with the exact same route combination. The beauty of this is it's the same route combination and you have a running back blocking. So you have really good protection. And like I said, it's the same route combination. So you there's no, no difference for coverage. And as you can see there, we're able to bomb the Mike Blitz 3. Now, when people get bombed out of cover 3, the first thing that they like to do is they like to say, you know what, instead of putting the outside thirds out there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put both of our outside corners into a deep half. What you're going to see is if they do that adjustment and I run this play, the snap of the ball, again, it's the same exact route combination, nothing changes. That deep half will never play this. Again, just pass lead that to the right and try to get a fast receiver out there, break tackle, and you're gonna be in for a one play score. So cover th cover three, done. Cover three invert, done. Cover two, done. Cover two with a deep middle third, done. And now for, uh, in my opinion, the hardest coverage to bomb in Madden 22, that is the cover four drop. What you're gonna see here is the exact same route combination. And this is the best cover four bomb in the game. It's one of the only cover four bombs where that safety will absolutely dumb out. And as you can see, it beats cover four over the top for a one play score. Now, I mean, I'd be asking, well, Cody, how does this do if they run maybe like a Mike Blitz zero with a deep middle third from their middle linebacker, 
okay? So if they do something like that, I will say it's probably the best way that they can combat this. And the main reason is because Mike Evans doesn't always beat man in coverage, but it's 100% a man coverage situation. You see that as long as he beats man coverage, he'll beat it, right? But if he, but if he doesn't beat the man coverage, he's not going to be able to get over the top of that. But that goes for two man under as well as uh, the coverage that I just showed you. So let's just say, for example, they're in cover three, or I'm sorry, not cover three, but cover two man um, out of the three to five, you're going to see here the same exact thing. So if Mike Evans beats his man, it's a touchdown every time. So you see like right here, he beats his man. So he's going to be open for a one play score or at least a huge gain. Um, if he's a little faster, he'd probably open for a touchdown. So my recommendation would be to put route tech or something like that on that player. And that's going to get him the separation that you need to hundred percent be consistent no matter what coverage. But like I said, no matter what coverage in the game, it, it literally doesn't matter. Um, this is an absolute nuke. The cool part is you got that slant post combo, which is one of the best combos in the entire game underneath. So that's going to kind of hold their user. And then now you've got your bomb over the top. Guys, this is just one of the reasons why the Trio Y Flex is the best offense in the game. And if you want to learn the entire offense, I'll put a link in the description that has the ebook down there. But my recommendation to you would be to join our Patreon. By joining the Patreon, like I said, you get instant access to every single offensive and defensive ebook that we've already released, which is 13 at this point. And then also you're going to get instant access to every ebook that we will release in the future while your subscription is active. We also do kind of quick tips, exclusive tips, high level stuff over there. So if you really want to take your game to the next level, I would encourage you to join the Patreon. It's only $10 a month and you can cancel whenever you would like. There's a link in the description below and I'm going to try to put a link in the comment section for you to be able to join that Patreon today. I think it's the best deal. You're going to get the best bang for your buck and I guarantee you're going to start winning more games in Madden 22.